Hi guys, it's Sherry. Today we're going to work on some wood blanks. I have mine drying right now. I paint them with just white acrylic paint. And I'm going to show you some examples as we go along. But this is a general idea of something that we are going to create. I did not finish this side. Um, and I want to show you why I am going to do the technique the way that I am because this will happen if you don't, okay? So there's a couple things that I wanna show you as we go through, little tips and tricks, all right? So these are drying. They're almost completely dry. I have some um, little dried out flowers that I received today in the mail. And then I also have this beautiful sticker sheet, all right? So. I absolutely love this. You get so many different designs. I'm gonna put my hand behind here so you can really see the flowers. But you can see all the different designs and it just kind of goes through and it's just beautiful. So you get a lot of different examples and samples or you know different flowers in general. Um, today I am gonna pick something pink because I want to go with my pink um, dried flowers. So let's just kind of trim this one up. And before I can commit to this particular set, I need to make sure that I can fit two earrings onto this because I want to make sure that I have enough. And I don't think I will, so I cannot go with this particular one unless I go with a smaller earring, and I do not. So this set is the same as this one. I'm actually going to stick with that because I know I have plenty of room for two blanks. So we will use that one. And I'm going to use this for my sample to see where I want to cut it. And grab my second earring here. So that's kind of how I decide where I want to cut my pieces to make sure is I just put the blanks right underneath. All right, so this side I know is dry, so we'll start on this side. So the very first thing that we need to do is get our resin and an old paintbrush. Make sure that it's a paintbrush that you don't care about because once you use it, you're not going to be able to use it for anything else. So I'm just going to grab an old paintbrush here. I have a little bit of resin in my container. Um, I love using these little ketchup bottles because you could just throw it away when you're done. But I'm going to add a little bit more because that's been sitting there for a little bit so it's a little thick. And all I'm going to do is brush my resin on here. Do not put it on thick. You just need a small little layer covering your blank. And I don't want no resin on my hand, so I'm gonna use my little tool here. And you can see I'm gonna work on this because then I don't have to touch anything. I could just lift my mat up and put it right under my UV light. These particular stickers, um, I believe they showed up as washi tape, but they're actual stickers. And um, they're kind of difficult to take apart, like to get them apart from each other. So what I ended up doing was, I'm gonna take two pieces of tape, and I saved my tape here, and then I will, put it on one side and then I'm going to take another one and put it on the other side. Okay, so once you have the tape on, you can see it pulls off much, much easier. So then you're not fighting it. And I was spending forever trying to figure out how to get that tape off. And I remember hearing somebody say they did that one time. So that's why I ended up doing that. All right, so now I'm going to take my sticker and I'm going to line it up exactly where I want it. I think I, hold on. I have a little fuzzy right there. 
I don't want no fuzzies on my stuff. I'm gonna line it up. And I wanna try to get as many flowers about right there. And then just pat it down nicely. Try to get any air pockets out. I like to use these little like scrapers. Let me put on my gloves. I want to um, protect my hands because it seems like I'm starting to have like little reactions off and on if I get resin on my hands. So, um, and I have eczema to begin with, so it kind of irritates my eczema and makes it come to life, so to speak. So I want to avoid getting any UV resin on me. So you can see I'm just kind of pushing it around and I want to make sure I have no bubbles under there. So just try to keep it still. All right. And then I'm going to take this one, pull that off. Oops. I wasn't supposed to do that. Let me push that off to the side. And then this one, we'll do the same thing. Get our tape. And then we have our tape. Okay, let's see. Perfect. Smooth it out. I worked on a couple of these to really just try to get this method down. And this is what I came up with that I think is the best method for these clear um, sticker like washi tapes. I think they really, this, this method works the best, I think. All right, so now I'm gonna put this under my UV light for about a minute because then that will completely cure my piece onto my wood blank. So while that clear, um, so while that is curing, I'm gonna show you exactly why I am putting it under the light right away. What I ended up doing with this one is I took my sticker and I just stuck it right onto the wood blank with nothing. I figured eh, it's a sticker, it'll stick. And then I ended up taking my resin and I brushed all the way around the sides, just enough that I could have it kind of pull over to the sides here. I hope you can really see that. So I have a little puddle here. And in my head, I thought, well, if I cover the sides and it pulls over, it will seal my piece completely but it didn't. So it must have missed sections over here because then this started popping up, which is what I was afraid of. Okay. So then I ended up just putting resin over the whole thing to cover up that little band and it worked great. But then you can see, watch, it starts pulling up because it's actually not sealed to the wood, even though it's sticky, this is sticky. That sticks to me, but it's not sticky enough that it's gonna stay on your wood piece, which is a real shame um, because it's a beautiful piece and I was really hoping it would work. What I could do, which I thought would be really cool, is actually just put resin on this side and then you could have just an earring like this, but I really love the idea of having my wood behind so it's white in the background and stuff like that. So this was a complete fail, but I really want to show you guys that um, that method will not work with those particular um, stickers. So let me grab these. Okay, so now, That should technically be stuck on there really well. 
So we're gonna trim this up. And I'm gonna get as close to my wood blank as possible. And you can see we have a nice, beautiful, clear look now. And we will poke our hole in our piece. And you know it's sealed nicely when you poke your hole and that piece doesn't flop up. So I'm gonna just kind of go around my edge and see if anything kind of pulls up. And if it doesn't pull up, then I know that I'm safer than I was before. When I do my videos, if it is a fail, I wanna make sure that I'm showing you guys all the fails so it'll prevent you from doing them. Um, and I wanna make sure that when I do my videos that they're good videos. They actually are gonna last, you know? Like, I don't wanna show you a method and then later on my piece falls apart and then you're going and spending all this time and money making your pieces and your stuff falls apart. So I'm really trying hard to make sure that whatever I show you guys um, it works really well. Okay, so now my next step is I am actually gonna go around my edges like I did with that one, but at least now I have the resin underneath. But I still wanna protect the sides to make sure they never pull up. So let me get my resin brush and then I am just going to go right around my edges And once again, I want to make sure that I'm pulling over to the sides here. I want to make sure that my edge meets with my sides. Now we kind of have a double protection. And I am also going to use a empty cup and put that up. So this way, my piece is up higher in my light. It has a better chance of getting around the whole piece than it being down so low. All I'm doing is kind of rubbing it over to the edge because I kind of had, I guess my paintbrush was a little dirty. So I kind of have like little marks on there. Is this one that, okay, this has resin on it. Let me use my clean brush. Oh, that's hard. That's why I didn't use that one. I feel like I didn't get much on this particular one. I'm just kind of going over and making sure that it's right up on that edge. And don't worry about if you have blotchiness here because when you put the resin over it, it'll all go away. And I want to use triple thick on this, but I don't think triple thick would work well on this because number one, it takes so long to dry um, that you almost need resin for this particular project. And, um, it's very, very thick. So if I did it underneath, it would kind of just pour out. So it just, it wouldn't work. So resin was actually a must on this particular project. So now I will take this, I'll put this under my light and I'm gonna let it cure for two full minutes. So while that is under my light, I'm gonna start pulling out some of my um, dried flowers. And I'm actually going to just, so I don't break any of them. I'm just gonna cut open the bag. And then I could kind of get a better idea of what exactly I have here and how I want to 
um, lay everything out. So I have a lot of really cool ones here. Look how beautiful these ones are. Look how gorgeous those are, guys. That's going to be fun. I love these little baby, um, what are these called? Baby, they're baby something. Oh, I can't think of what they're called. Baby breath. So they colored the baby breath. Oh, that one's super cool. But I'm not going to obviously put that on an earring. That's way too big. But I'm definitely going to use some of these because those are gorgeous. So those are a must. Okay. So now I know those are going to be nice and stuck on there. I'm not going to worry about now having, or I'm not going to have to worry about them kind of falling apart like the other ones did. And I always like to test it by pulling. And that's how I found those out that started pulling up. All right, so now you have like this little sticky looking mess and it's actually not sticky, but we're gonna finish um, putting our resin completely on here. And I love having my little resin stick and then I'm just gonna pull it right over. And this will cover up all that messy look. I absolutely love playing with UV resin because there's so many cool things you could do with this. And with this paper or sticker, whatever you want to call it, you're going to see it right away if you miss a spot because it kind of looks like a sunken bubble. So you'll know if you missed anything because sometimes they're so shiny that you can't see if you did or not. But with this particular um, washi tape sticker, you can see it right away. Like here, I can see I missed a piece. So I just go right over. And then after I'm done doing this, I'll put this under again. But this time I'm gonna cure it for a full four minutes to make sure, cause I'm putting it on thicker. And usually in four minutes, whatever I use um, or whatever I do is usually cured right away. So I'm just going to do four minutes and then um, we can start on the next side. If you get resin in your hole, don't worry about it because you could just drill right through it. So just look over and make sure you don't have no little spots that you missed. And then I like to get my lighter and just go over and make sure I have no bubbles. And I think I missed a little area right here. Right there. All right, so four minutes under your UV light all right, and look how beautiful. Are they not just absolutely gorgeous? Perfect for spring and summer. I love these. So next we are gonna work on this side. So I want to do the same thing, put my resin on top and then start placing my flowers. But the first thing I wanna do is kind of decide how exactly I wanna do these. I don't want um, a big ton, like I can't do that. Like that's just too much. So we got to kind of break these up. And decide how we want to do that. But first I'm going to use my green because that's going to be my main things here. Like the only color that besides pink that is going to be there. So let's put our greens on, get an idea. Uh, this I'm actually going to take my glove off for because I could use my, my hands much, much easier without a glove.
think is something similar like that. And then we could add our pink on. All right, so I have an idea how I wanna do this. So what I wanna do first is just put a little bit of resin on. I'm just gonna spread it over and it doesn't have to be perfect initially. We just need to get enough on here to get our flowers to stay in place because we're gonna cure this partially with just the flowers on and then we'll fill it up afterwards. That way you know your flowers will stay in place. So let's get our green stems first. And this is how I like to do it when I have resin involved. All right, so now I'm gonna put this under my UV light. So now just a little bit of resin will cure, but then all my flowers will stay in place. So this one now has my flowers completely stuck on it. So now I can take my resin and just go right over the flowers. And I like to drip the resin right on the flower. That way it kind of covers it. Because we are not going to fill this up so much that it domes over everything. That's just going to be way too much resin and it's gonna make it a very heavy earring and it's just not gonna look as nice. So if you have a couple flowers popping up, it's okay because it'll give it that nice 3D look. Now at this point, I'm just spreading everything out as even as I can get it. So this is like confetti stuff. And actually let's go with a different color than pink because we want to make it kind of a little bit different. Let's go with a little green. So, and I'm not going to use a lot of this. It's just like confetti glitter, I guess you could say. And I just want to add a little bit throughout my piece just to give it that little extra pop. Okay, now I'm just gonna spread it and make sure that it's not all clumped up in one area. This is a really cool piece. How neat that looks. So now let's do the same on this one. Get it right over my flowers. And the reason I put it over the flowers is it'll make the flowers hard. So when they stick up, they don't get broken off. I'm not sure if I said that already. All right, guys, look at those. How unique are those? I think these are really fun. These are just such a fun pair of earrings. Now I can see I have a little bit of pull over here on my resin. So I'm just gonna take my file and I'm just gonna file a little bit off of it to make it a little bit smoother. So if you have any pull or any little bumps or lumps that don't look nice, just do a quick little file of it. So there we go. So the last thing that we need to do is make sure nothing's going to kind of fall off. Um, here, I'm going to add a little bit more resin because I can see that it's like raw. 
and here it's soft too. So I'm just gonna take my paintbrush and do that afterwards, but because I wanna finish up this tutorial quick, but everything over here looks pretty good except for those little strands right there. So I'll finish those up with a paintbrush, make sure that those are all good. The last thing to finish these up, I just wanna do my Let's Resin marker. I'm gonna clean up my edges nicely. I love to finish off all my pieces. And no, I don't put resin on afterwards. I have not had any issues with um, this kind of rubbing off or anything like that. I just leave it the way it is. And then I like to always edge the sides to make it look like it's encased in metal. And I'll show you the difference. So there's one without it and there's one with. And I just like the look with it better because it just makes it look finished. And I also do this side. All right, so the first thing I'd like to do is take the loop down here and carefully turn it. If you don't want to turn your pieces, you can always just get a second jump ring and put it on and then your earrings will lay properly. And then I'll take my jump ring. Hopefully this did not close up on me. There we go. Decide which direction you want to wear it. And then close. And that is all to it. Okay. So there's your earring. I'll let that dry a little bit longer. You see I'm getting little bits of paint on me. That one's closed. Okay, so this is the perfect opportunity for me to show you how to open them. So that one I got resin in. So all I'm gonna do is take my drill and hold it and just push it through. That's it. And then you have your hole open. Actually. And there we go. You have your beautiful spring reversible earrings. Hope you enjoy creating these pieces with me. If you did, thumbs up, comment, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.